This is the Pete and Sebastian Show with Pete Corielli and Sebastian Maniscalco. Pete and Sebastian Show is back again. Oh, man, where do we start? I'm Pete Corielli. That's Sebastian Maniscalco. Dude, we have new people coming all the time. Uh, we've been doing this a long time. If you haven't heard the old ones, they... They're not current events. You can go back. You should go back. These are probably going to be s- capsuled someday. <laughs> it, it makes sense at this point. Anyway, how you doing, man? Oh, let's let's roll. What do you want to get into? I got. Yeah, let's have fun. We always do. Uh, all right. Where do I want to go with this? My God, there's so much on the plate here. <clears throat> so i don't know bro you gotta start you gotta start my head my head is scrambled do right we, now all right all right all right so do we start light with discussing uh what's coming to the pipe with everything yeah just open it up man open it up uh, all right all right that sounds good so uh we got a new gentleman coming on board who's going to produce the show and uh i know you'll 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 hop in here but sebastian's getting his new studio done and people from your end uh, at your management and stuff got on the phone with me when I was on the road to meet the new producer, Patrick. And it was bro, it was so funny, right? Because you know how management can be. This is how the phone call starts. And I'm not, they go, so um, as you know, Sebastian's getting his studio redone. And, um, you know, doing the split screen, we were wondering, you know, we see how you have your studio in the small space. And so that's like what, and I go, Sebastian's is going to look stunning. Yours is a shithole. What are you doing about it, Pete? All right. And they all, and they all start cracking up. I go, guys, come on. And then, and then uh, Patrick goes, well, we got to that way quicker. So anyway, long story short, Patrick already sent four boxes of equipment. He's flying out to Fredonia. I mean, Brewer was the last person to do that of any note, and that was like three years ago. So, uh, <clears throat> so this is ex- yeah. So this is this is really happening, you know. I mean, so let me clue the listeners in on what's going on. What Pete's refer- yeah. what Pete was referring to is we're doing an upgrade on the show, and I know you guys like the fact that I'm in my movie theater and Pete's underneath his stairwell or wherever the fuck he's at. Uh, I understand it is there's a charm to the show. <laughs> Wherever the fuck he's at. <laughs> it a, is done. There's a charm to the show that uh, you guys love, and we love it too. And this upgrade is not going to be a departure from the charm. It's actually going to add value to what we're trying to do here on the Pete and Sebastian show. Uh, we have no real quote unquote producer that's producing this show with us. Uh, Pete fires up his side. I fire up my side. Like today, I got no microphone. Uh, <laughs> oh, I didn't even realize that yet. I had one. What the f- I, had, I didn't have one last week either. You didn't even notice. No. No. Damn. So, um, what we're doing here is we're going official in regards to getting the proper equipment to have a premium level podcast. Uh, yeah, if you saw the what we're yeah. if you saw what I'm speaking into and what and if, if Pete turned his camera on to see what his setup is, oh god, yeah, it's yeah. It, 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 it's like you would think two people in eighth grade who are just getting to know technology are doing this podcast. Am I, am I correct at saying that? 100%. I, I would actually say I would bet most high school kids have a better setup. Yeah. 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 So, but the, it's though, it's like the content is just glaring and standing on its own. <laughs> I'm sorry. And I have to say, I think I, I sometimes... You know, I'll hear a clip or I, um, or I know I'm there. We're doing this. I'm sorry. With the right cameras and, and a guy like Patrick cleaning up and making it look good, there is no reason to think networks aren't going to come call and go, listen, let's slap a few Dorito commercials in the front and the end of this, throw on a guest. 
And we got a Tonight Show <laughs> once a week. You know what I'm saying? We don't even need a writing staff to do the monologue. I just fucking did it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So we're getting an upgrade. We got this guy, Patrick, flying out to Fredonia to set up because Patrick and I said, I go, there's no way you're going to get this uh, Pete to to do this over the phone. Because he's got like, this ain't like plug in, plug in. He's got a teleprompter coming to your house. Uh, are you kidding me, man? So, we're going so, to so, Joe President Biden this shit, huh? <laughs> Oh, sorry. Don't send an email, people, all right? Calm down. Oh, my God. So yeah, two things last week. Opened oh, it up. Oh, oh, wow. You got you got, you got lamb based for what? Oh, one guy with, you know, oh, I love you guys so much, you know, but I don't remember you doing this when the other guy was in office, you know. The other guy um, was the other guy was alive. <laughs> Wait, let's not, though. Let's not. <clears throat> I told him though. I just, uh, I just emailed back. Are you serious with this fucking email? And then I go dot. And then I go dot dot dot. Jesus. And and I left it like that. That's all I said. Oh god. He already wrote back an apology because yeah. he knows. He knows. Guy, what are you doing? One comment and you're at your you're at your keyboard like a receptionist in 1975. <laughs> Shit. All right. Uh, we'll so, go. Yeah. Good to see you, bro. Yeah, Good night. Can't yeah. wait for Patrick. Right now, he'd hit us with a picture of a receptionist from 1975. Not only that, we'd, we'd get the guy's message up on screen, plus a photo of what this guy looks like. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh no! But seriously, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna. That's uh. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's gonna. That's great, man. I, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to turning it up. I, he's making me move. There's a room upstairs that Jackie's been wanting me to move the cast to anyway. But I just love the coziness here. But I'm, I'm taking it upstairs. Nice. Already though, bro. He's like, he's like, I'm gonna need a uh, 25 megabytes per. I, I didn't even hear the rest of the sentence. I'm like, hey, book a flight. Book your flight. <laughs> what are you saying? Mega once? Holy shit. I got a route out. I don't even know if it works. It blinks green. I don't even know if it's working. <laughs> By the time this guy leaves your house, your 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 dishwasher's gonna be on Wi-Fi. <laughs> That's it, bro. I love it. Shit, I'm so bad with technology. Two two uh, weeks ago, Jackie's like, what the hell is this? I had a seventy a ninety-two dollar phone bill. I'm like, what? My my friend Dad from England, he always calls me like through I, I don't know how he does it, so I however he did it, I just called back once the way he did it. And he's like, No guy, I'm going through Skype. You called me FaceTime to London. <laughs> and, we, and we talked for for about an hour, man. Just FaceTime in London like I'm Brad Pitt fucking roaming the city without a care in the world about the price. <laughs> I think Tom Cruise would have hung up. He went, oh, Jesus, I'm not on Skype. I'll call you right back. <laughs> oh, man. Already. I mean, already it's gold. Ten minutes oh, in. That's, uh, that's so unbelievable. Cool. Be a nice photo of Tommy C right now after that comment. <laughs> before, hey, a before and after. Risky business and then Maverick. <laughs> I can't wait, Patrick. Let's do it. It'll be fun. So, that, we got that cooking. Uh, number two. Uh, yeah, last night. I thought this was kind of odd. It's a birthday party for a four-year-old at 5.30 in the afternoon. Now, 5.30, you know, when you got a five-year-old and a three-year-old, we're coming up on bedtime here, right? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And it was at this... Uh, it's called Candyland. It's you know, I got mm. m like balls and slides and trampoline that type of place, but clean. This one was clean. What would, what would, by the way, what would you equate this to? Uh, Five thirty birthday party for a four year old is like what would you say about having a party for an adult that starts at what? Just having a party for an adult that starts at uh, ten o'clock on a Saturday morning. I just, I, uh, well, I was going to go the other route because 5.30 is close to bedtime for a kid. You start, even at my age now, you you, you say a party starts at 10 p.m. I'm like, oh, God, I'm already 
talking to the wife about when do you want to go at 10 p.m. <laughs> you know, like home from wherever we are. And now we're just going. Yeah. So I um, we go. Nice, clean place, you were saying. Yeah, right? I walk, we walked in because I got to tell you, the, the, the day before we were at another place, like a trampoline place, all trampolines where the walls are trampolines, all thing. And, I, and I've decided any place that you got to go to where you got to remove your shoes, right. I'm out. As soon as I get in, <laughs> soon I get in, they go, put your shoes over there. I, I, I ain't putting my shoes anywhere. I'm leaving them on. What, what do you think of this uh, shoe removal? You, you find it at you know these kids, these kiddie land places, bowling, right. bowling. Oh, we we bowled about uh, two three months back, and it was rough, man. It was rough, you know. But listen, with the all because of the shoe, it's very uncomfortable. I just bring your own shoe. But if you keep your sneaker on at the trampoline, can you walk around? I know those places around the edges and hang out with your kid. You just can't jump on the trampoline. Well, I had no socks on. I had like a slip on, and. Oh. But nice touch, they gave you a fresh pair of socks in a plastic bag. Beautiful. Oh, I've had that at places. Sneak that I'll do because I'm just peeling that whole thing off and leaving it behind anyway. I'm not yeah, yeah. bringing any of this place home with me. So <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but do you feel as a man, the minute you don't have footwear on, it's over. A, li a little less of... of of a man. I don't know how to put it around other people. Nah, you can't, you cannot be having a serious conversation with another man with here. I'll, I'll give you an example. There was a professional football player there retired, right? Who I'm friends with. We, our kids go to school together. This guy is a beast, right? This guy's six, mm -hmm. six, 260, 270, right? Just a, just a, a beast of a man. I was talking to him in his socks, and I felt like I could take him. That that that's how it, that's how it reduced his <laughs> turned him turned him from a badass pro football player to a big big teddy bear, right? <laughs> to a civilian. <laughs> to a civilian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's like yeah, no one looks dangerous with this, uh, with this, with uh, without this shit. You can't even be mean to another man if you're both talking in socks, right? <laughs> yeah. So the whole place has got socks on. Uh, I gotta tell you, bro, this was one of the most active I've ever seen my kids in about a two a two and a half hour time frame. They were jumping on the trampoline. They were sliding. They were in the balls. They were in a merry go -round. They were all over the place. By the time they got home, normally we read them books and, you know, go, go to bed. Serafina told me, I'm, I'm tired. Can you leave? Like, she just, I never got that before. Like, where the kid, where the kid tells you, get, yeah, the, yeah. get the fuck out of here. I, dude, that's a stage. She's getting old. I mean, of course, she's not always going to do that, but um, starting to become her own person and realize, I, what, I, I can just tell this guy I beat it. <laughs> 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 and are you like, oh my God, we're skipping all the reading and shit. Oh. Great, right? It's great. I was like, let's go to this place every night. You know? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, man, I hear you. Oh, that's great. I'm glad. I'm glad uh, they had a good time. Was he wiped out too? He's got to be, right? Yeah, they were. They were both wiped out. So we had a great time at this at this party. But I also want to rewind to the party on Saturday we went to at this uh, at this trampoline joint. So all the kids are doing the trampoline, and Serafina and, and Cruz are too small. It was like eight year old kids. They're too small to participate in any of the activities. So they were kind of just hanging out with us in this, and this like, they have these little rooms with the birthday parties and overlooking the, the whole thing. So I noticed this guy get up and he's screaming into the room. Going, oh, right, oh, 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 
yeah, he's cheering on his kid from the balcony of where we're at. And I, I was like, oh, that's kind of odd. It's like they're playing dodgeball. They're not playing. It's not like uh, we're in the ninth inning and the championship yeah. is on the line. It's a, it's a birthday party. And this guy's like cheering on his kid, but loud. I, I, I clocked that. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't know. I, I think it's, I was telling you this uh, uh, in the beginning of the podcast. Italian people, and I know you do this too, whatever you're doing, let's say you're at this party, because I was at this party, I was talking to two people, and this guy started doing that, and these people were, were talking, but they didn't like reference what he was doing, but I just glanced over, and I clock it, like I like I file it in the back of my head going, okay, that's happening right now, mm. but I'm still yeah. listening to the people talk. Are you Are you scanning the room like Predator? When you're at these places, uh, or are you completely aware of what's going on around you at all times? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm the same as you, especially when I'm at my daughter's soccer game. I'm in my lawn chair with my shades on, figuring out relationships. <laughs> you know, like I'll look over and go, uh, the, I'm like the way a guy's talking to one of the kids that's not playing, like, you know, when they, when they bring their younger kids with them to watch an older kid, the way they're interacting, I'm like, Step. <laughs> you can tell it's a step kid. There's, you can tell by the level of it. There's not. There's not that full on love, blood on blood, <laughs> hug going on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I feel like. So. <laughs> so. I go downstairs to try and get the kids on a trampoline. And we didn't have the proper, like, you're supposed to have, like, a sticker on your chest. Mm -hmm. Uh, But in order to get that sticker, you got to go and wait in line and fill out, like, a a release form. I'm like, hey, man, I ain't going to do all this shit. So we went to, like, the little game area. And they had one of those games, like, a crane that comes down and picks up items. You know that? that, Yeah. yeah. So Serafina saw it. I was like, I want to play it, Daddy. They had, like, balls you could get. So it's a dollar. I put a dollar in. She gets a ball, and Crusoe wanted to play. I put another dollar in. And as Crusoe's playing, this the loudmouth comes behind me, right? And goes, and then there's also a girl on the side going, I want to play, I want to play. So I'm getting converged on, right? And this girl's talking a lot, going, I can get that, I can get that, I can get that. And this guy goes, ah, I'm good at this game, man. I'm really good at this game. Put a dollar in there for me and let me now. What? I had a I had a rash go down the back of my spine. I felt it break out. Uh I didn't know who the dog do- I didn't know who the, the girl was. I didn't know if it was his daughter or whatnot. And then he was uh-huh. part of the party. I you know, and I didn't know who he was friends with, if he was friends with you know, like uh-huh. so I had a tip tiptoe around this if this was a guy off the street and said that yeah. it would have been a whole different story but w- was he drinking yeah yeah he was a little because right, you did it like a drunk person so i'm just yeah checking. yeah he was he was south stout right 12 right, 12, right. 12 30 at a birthday party oh 12 30 i thought it was five no this was the one Saturday. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, all right, all right. So this guy, well, not only twelve thirty, but uh, trampoline place. <laughs> Boy, if you can tie one on at an indoor trampoline place, you can pretty much drink anywhere. Huh? <laughs> hey, if your wife's like, you want to go to Maui for a week? I- I'll just go get shit faced in the fucking trampoline place. I don't need scenery. Clearly. Wow. Well, I, actually, I was kind of jealous because he, he had the right idea. If, if I had access to a couple shots of tequila, I would have been blitzed at this place, right? <laughs> oh, hey, listen, I, don't get me wrong. I've been to trampoline places, and, you know, I step outside. I tell my daughter for fresh air every 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> so I'm no angel, but, you know, I ain't begging for dollar bills to get a ball for my kid. <laughs> Shit. So, 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 if he's part of a party, you probably got a wad of ones. You got to throw one in for this guy, right? Keep it uh, civil. I throw one in. I step back. Lana's yeah. there. My two kids are flanking. I go to Lana. I go, wrap it up. Let's get out of here, right? 
Now, this this slip my this slip by me. I didn't I didn't I didn't catch it fast enough. There's a there's a mirror in the game. You know what I'm saying? Like the the back of the game is a full mirror, so you can like see the. It's a mirror, right? So uh-huh. this this yeah. guy is is doing the game, oh. and in the in the in the reflection, I'm like, wrap it up, let's get out of here, right? <laughs> and, I, and I give the, and I give one of these to like, <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit! So she goes. There's a mirror there, and at that point, at that right, at that point, right? You either go one or two ways. You go, oh, you know, like you scour. But like I was so in it, I go, I don't care what's mirror or not. Let's go. You know, like I committed. Yeah, I committed. That's yeah. That's so, way better. Yeah. That's even less uncomfortable for the guy because it makes the guy think. I could turn around. He's still going to do that. <laughs> you know? So, so, yeah, yeah. So was it, was it time to go anyway? Yeah. But you know, you know, you know what I do at these parties? What? When it's time to go. And Lana, Lana's notorious for this. She's got to go say bye to everybody. Now, the bye to everybody is another 45 minutes packed on, right? I, t- I told Lana, I go, when we go to these parties, as soon as we get there, start saying bye to everybody. <laughs> so by the time you're done, it's time to leave because that's how long it takes. Yeah. Well, I mean, maybe she's going to save it till someday if she's, you know, right before you're on your deathbed and she'll go, listen, the reason I'm always taking 45 minutes to say goodbye, I don't want to hurt your feelings. I'm doing damage control for everybody <laughs> That you ran into at the fucking party. That's what I'm doing. Why do you think we keep getting invited? Because you stand in the corner and judge everyone? No, because I take 45 minutes to apologize for that shit. Oh, shit. Oh, God, bro. Have you gotten better about, uh, you know, I know, you know, certain, certain people you're having a good time with, but have you gotten better about being social with everybody, no matter what way you are. I'm working on it. Uh, <laughs> 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 well, I, I notice a lot of the times I'm playing. I'm like, I kind of hang by my kids. You know, that's that's kind of my my outlet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I know I, that move. You know, it's like I, I tried doing it at this party. I'm like, I felt like an animal cage in this room. I go, I, I, I gotta get out of here, man. I gotta get out of here. Just, yeah, yeah. It, 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 anyway, uh, I, I, that move though, like I've done that more than once. With when uh, I don't want to get into it, but you know, sometimes it gets mistaken for like my mother in law is like he's he's such a you're such a fun dad, but you know, yeah, no, I'm not. No, I'm not a fun dad. Yeah. I'm avoiding everybody. <laughs> well, yeah, not everybody, but for me, yeah, <laughs> certain people in that moment. But exactly, you. That's a, uh, yeah, that's a, it's a good out. You yeah. Know? So for now, and I told him, I go, when it's time to leave, it's time to leave. And I did a move. Uh, I, I, this is, this is white trash, but I did it. Yeah. <sighs> Sky zone. It's the place we went to. It's in Van, mm-hmm. it's in Van Nuys. Anytime you, anytime you go to these places that are, is not connected to like a like like a, a restaurant, you know, like if you're going to, uh, I don't know. I mean, you, you're relying on Sky Zone to have a chef back there that knows what he's doing, right? Right, right. Like, yeah, Sky Zone is just gonna make you something to tie you over until you can go someplace where they really make stuff. You know. Well, yeah, it's like, like a restaurant. It's like going to a restaurant and they got trampolines in the parking lot. They don't do trampolines, right? They do food. So a, tra- right. a trampoline joint ain't gonna do ain't gonna take the time and money to invest in the menu. Of course not. Yeah, you're gonna get fries, uh, maybe pizza square. I get it. I know yeah. those kind of places. Okay. So yeah. I, I did, pretzel. I didn't want. I didn't want any of that. Yeah. Well, of course not. So I, I tested out the card. Are you serious? You used it. I, I can't even believe you had it on you. Why wouldn't I, bro? This thing. This thing is. 
in front of my license. That's how important it is. I, I mean, me and Jackie were talking about the Chipotle card afterwards, and we kind of came to the conclusion that when they give these out, it's it's probably more symbolic in the sense that, you know, when are you going to go into a Chipotle at this point and what, where you are career-wise and stuff? And then here you are the very next cast telling me you walked into a Chipotle and used your card. This is unbelievable. Now, did they recognize you right away at the front counter? No. 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 no, okay. no. Nobody recognizes me at Chipotle. I only had one guy in New York City. No, it was in Boston. That recognized me at Chipotle. Other than that, that's not my demo. The Chipotle, the right. people. They're just young. They don't know. Yeah, yes. So, so I said, and, oh, and by the way, Chipotle's never given a card like this to anybody who has a cast like this. So I'm half doing it for content for our show. <laughs> That, well, I mean, yeah, that's that's unbelievable. All this you're giving them. This is like, I mean, we're I don't know what we're up to for a thirty second spot, but they get <laughs> stacked here. Pay the coat back, just saying thank you. <laughs> so I can't. I so I, the person. This is great, man. They they must have been like, holy shit, we never saw one. Go in. Yeah. I had to get uh, Lana wanted something, and then I had to. Get something for me. So it's just two, 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 uh, two meals. So I get, I get, I get to the pay, the payout, right? And now with my card, you get a chips and a drink, which I never get anyway. I just normally get the thing, but I'm like, hey, let me get the chips and a drink. Let me get the full yeah. thing. Of course, man. So as you well know, the card is only good for one meal package. Yeah. So what I do is I put the my credit card on one, t- like one tin, and I put the mm-hmm. Chipotle bowl on the other. I said, "Charge this, this to this, this to that." And he goes, he looks at it, right, bro. This guy was so stunned. He he had a mask on. <laughs> he, he looked at the card. Yeah. And he pulled his mask down and he goes. Is this a gift certificate? No. <laughs> <laughs> what would your response be to that? Like, how would you tell the employee what that is? What, what would you say? Uh, I would say I'm a comedian and uh, I'm pretty well known. And Chipotle sent me a lifetime card for free food wow. every day whenever I want. Wow, that's a lot of information. I just, well, I mean, what I, is I, he going to know? What are you going to say? What would you say? I downplay it. There's people, there's people behind me. I go, I had some type of VIP card. Like, I act like I don't even know what the hell it is, right? VIP card? That it Just one sentence. That sounds way more. My thing was way cooler. No, no, no. No, no, no. no, no. Oh, comedian. Oh, yeah. And then I got to get into the whole comedian back and forth. Fuck that. Said some VIP, some VIP kind of. <laughs> so he goes, I've never seen this before. Let me go. Let me go in the back. <sighs> <laughs> so they come up together. Madra comes up. Hi, how you doing? And he goes, so what do you do? She goes, just just here, here, scan it there. Thank you so much for coming. I, I got from Chipotle, what I generally never get, you know, like it was like <laughs> it's like a unicorn walked in, walked in the restaurant. That is what I wanted to hear. So this person just wasn't cued in yet on. Listen, if anyone ever comes in with one of these cards, be extra nice. Uh, yeah. And by the way, did they? Go ahead. This is how I think Chipotle is running this thing. Mm-hmm. They have a meeting with the staff and they go, listen, everybody, uh, this is how you process the MasterCards, cash, credit card. See, there is a black card out there. Uh, I'm not even getting into it because we never see them. We never, we never see them. Mm-hmm. 
these cars. And that's how they leave it. Only, I believe, only the manager of each store knows how to process the payment on these VIP cards. So, well, then, a couple things. One, did they charge you for Lana's? Yeah. Wow. Wow. And I'll tell you right now, if I if I ever had a Chipotle card, <clears throat> I respect your move with the credit card and the other thing. I would take it. I would put it more on them. I would only come with my Chipotle card, and then I'd go. I order what I order, give it to them, and then when the manager comes out, I'm like oh, I, my whole wallets were at that sky thing over there. I just ran over with the card because I knew you were here, just to see. Are you literally going to take my wife's burrito and pull it back out of the bag? <laughs> Are you going to do that? Are you going to do that? I'm going to try that next time. Just Absolutely. to just to see. I can't what they, believe, bro. I can't believe they didn't look at you and go, "Get out of here with that credit card. <laughs> throw, throw that that burrito in the bay. You want a brownie, guy? You want a brownie? Should we throw the brownie? I mean, it's just. And then write a letter to Chipotle saying, "Listen, I, I if I'm gonna have to wait for the guy go in the back, have a conversation, come out with the manager, uh, read the back of the card, try to figure it out every time, it defeats the purpose, man." You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I should. <laughs> I, I, my, uh, today, they're doing this on a Monday. Chipotle Top Brass got the report of what happened over the weekend and highlighted is in Van Nuys, Chipotle, black card spotted. They're going, <laughs> they're on the other end going, holy shit. He actually came in? <laughs> <laughs> That's no, what I'm saying. No one's come in in six years. <laughs> you got it. Next time you talk to Watt, we got to text him and ask him: Does he use his lifetime Chipotle card ever? Yeah, we got to we got to see if he's using it on a regular basis. But I got to tell you, you're right. Like yeah. it, they 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 got to like send a notice out going, listen, guys, I think we fucked up and we we gave this card to Sebastian, and this guy's actually using it. So. We gotta right. do a we gotta do a training so everybody knows how to use this thing just in case this cheap bastard comes in. <laughs> cheap bastard. <laughs> Listen, you're giving them like Super Bowl revenue here in ads. Uh super <laughs> I gotta ask you a question though. You gotta and I know you're grateful and you're very professional, so you you know you're cautious with your words, but honestly, it it felt weird paying for Lana's, right? Like pulling it felt like you were going in. With a coupon. It's like, I know you. If I did that, you'd go, hey, you just pay for the whole thing. Forget it, forget it. That's, that's what you would say. Well, you're right. When, when, I see, when I see people in front of me in a grocery store or wherever it is, paying separately, let's say, you see, you see, you see this a lot at lunchtime where they, where they send out somebody. And they're like, okay, his his subway goes on this card. His, you know, like they they got they got like a deck of cards paid for shit, right? <laughs> right, right. And I don't know if this is uh, prevalent anymore now with Venmo and whatnot. I think you know, I, I think people just Venmo people. But you know, it's paying separately for one. I believe one transaction per person. If you got two transactions, you got to go to the uh, back of the line and then. Pay for the uh, <laughs> pay, pay for the other. We're gonna hold on to your first card. When you come back around and pay with your second card, you get both cards back. That's <laughs> it. I love it, man. And I mean, again, on top of this, bro, the people behind you online, if they also might not be aware of who you are, then, and even if they were aware of who you are. To them, it looks like Sebastian was paying with a coupon. They had to go check the coupon in the back. A special bell should go off because there's a chip in the card. So when a person with a lifetime card goes into a Chipotle, like fucking bells go off, you know? And everyone's like, what the fuck is that? And you're like, dude, someone's in here with a lifetime card. Like, this is so low level, man. I mean, the gesture is great, but the the the... Outcome of it is like <laughs> gotta be tightened up. <laughs> well, I'll, take, I'll take it a step further. I'll take it a step further. It was a line, right? I'm thinking to your point. Bells go off. You come in, 
if somebody comes out from behind the counter and goes right this way and you get you just order you skip the line it's like a line pass skip no absolutely absolutely no matter where you are if they have a chipotle in disney world line out the door <laughs> people are like is that a Disney song? I never heard those, but no, that's a Chipotle lifetime are coming in. <laughs> Line just got a little longer. <laughs> Chipotle lifetime. Oh, oh, oh man. God, bro. God. Oh, All right, we yeah, well, they gotta clean that up, man. <laughs> so Let's go back to lottery like it worked. <laughs> <laughs> I only have to pay for yours. <laughs> Fucking... <laughs> oh, man. Oh, you know, you know what I did? I did this move. I got guacamole on my bowl, and, and, and Lana didn't get guacamole. <laughs> so when I put the cards down, I had Lana's part of the meal. Like, I was going to pay for Lana's. I go, no, 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 no. I go, I because the guacamole is more. I brought. I switched him out to save the three now. They're like, can we slide the chips over to the volume to my, my to whatever we can slide over to the to the to the first one? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate the honesty. Bro, that is all shit that you do not do, man. Oh, God. I'm telling you, oh. having a coupon, which this basically is, makes yeah. you makes you think different, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. I mean, it makes sense. To... <laughs> Even then, though, when she saw you slide the guac over, I can't believe she wasn't like, slide it all over. <laughs> Holy shit, this is getting ridiculous. Oh my god. Wasn't there a part of you, though, that thought, there's no way she's ringing me up for Lana's burrito. There's no way. I, I, didn't think, I didn't think that at all because the way things are, this is how I equate it, right? This ain't Las Vegas in the 1960s, oh. all right? <laughs> Where you're playing, you're losing your ass. The guy goes, let me take care of your weekend, you know? <laughs> <laughs> this is all computer now. When they go over and go, oh, that's sorry, you don't got enough points. You're going to have to, you know, right. you're going to have to move out of your home. You know, right. this, 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 this. <laughs> like if she gave Lana the free burrito or whatever with yours, they, she'd get a call from HR the next day going, we were reviewing the tape. Um, the guacamole's fine when he slid that over, but but then when you slid the burrito over too, listen, you're on, that's one, three more of those and you're out. All right. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Yeah. So yeah, no, I'm using. Oh, this. by the way, Patrick was telling me. Yeah. Uh, the new way we're gonna do the cast. What are we out of here? We we're done. <laughs> we're done. Yeah, he's like, you guys, you don't have to go that long. You, you guys are so funny. <laughs> you don't have to give me. You guys are giving them like uh, double albums. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, can I? Yeah, just <laughs> don't wrap your head around this timeline, folks. <laughs> 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 Might have to listen to uh, John Tesh and all of his cool facts uh, one morning for your commute, too, because we're only going to be able to help you one day now, I think. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what are we at? Seriously, though, time-wise. I'm only kidding. I got plenty more. Bro, four, 40 minutes, man. I feel like we've been doing this for five minutes. I, I felt like it was a five-minute <laughs> intro, what we just did. <laughs> I do, me too, man. Oh, my God, bro. It's fun hanging. Um, all right. You, you, I got a couple other things, but you got, of course, no. So, so the guys, I forgot to mention this to you. Yeah. The guys who gave you that stuff behind you, the Pete and Sebastian show stuff. Yeah, yeah. They came to the show in uh, St. Louis, and as I was getting out of the car, it's a father and son, right? Father it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, I, you, I actually, he sent me. Um, a picture of it. You signed it. You signed it. Yeah, they're, they're good artist, this kid. I thought the artwork was pretty pretty dead on, no? The, the artwork was fantastic. 
these things are unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. I love these, man. These, these guys do really great work. Yeah. Well, but that was his dad, I think, did these, and he designed them or something. Yeah, yeah. I, I forget their name. Sorry, guys, that I forget your name, but uh, I just wanted to thank them publicly on the uh, Pete and Sebastian show for, for hanging outside and, and give me, giving me those. I told you to post it on Instagram. I don't know if you did or not, but if you could just send me a private message with the links or whatever so I could repost them, that would be greatly appreciated. Um what um so it's my birthday friday right and uh happy birthday as i texted i didn't realize it's a late man you didn't, you didn't know so sorry 49 years old Woo, still uh, young guy. still young still young i uh we took the kids to school and lana's like you know i got a little surprise she took me out to a nice breakfast um uh, here's another thing bro i'm so good at sizing up a waiter or waitress and kind of, cause I've been, I, I've done this job for years. I just know there's, there's different types of servers. So if this one comes up and right away on the approach, I go, this ain't going to be good. Just on the approach. Didn't even say nothing. Wow. Just scanned it from head to toe. I just s- a feel you have a feel and instinct. Yeah, just on the greeting, just the face, the face, no smile, no nothing, uh, na- nail polish chipped, you know, I just, just, I'm just taking it, you could take in a lot of nonverbals and start piecing together shit right off, the, right off the bat, right? Uh, yeah. Lana likes to modify her orders, you know, it's never just two scrambled eggs with white toast, it's... Right. Two scrambled eggs, but could you tell him I don't like them wet? I like them, you know, like that, that's that's like you know. Right. When when, when my wife comes, uh, her order comes in the back. The chef's like, ah, fuck, God, you know. <laughs> that, but, yeah, but that's it. Listen, a lot of people do that now, man. They're too, you know. You gotta, yeah. You paint and you want it the way you like it, man. Here's my point. What? Well, she comes up to you guys, want any drinks, orange juice, coffee. So we order coffee and she leaves. I tell Lana, I go, don't do modifications with this one. It's going to be a, it's going to be a problem. She's like, what are you talking about? I go, just keep it, keep it simple. Don't tell her, don't go off the menu. You know, just keep it on, on the menu. She's like, no, you're, you're, you're ridiculous. So she comes, Lana goes, I want, uh, scrambled eggs with spinach and feta cheese, but I want the feta, and this is this is I want the feta in the scrambled into the the omelet or the scrambled. You know, she doesn't want it sprinkled on top. She wants it in there. You know right. what I'm saying? The spinach too, or is that good? No, the in. spinach is in. But sometimes what they do with cheese is they sprinkle it on top. Now I don't know why she wants it put in there. I find out I find out later why she wants to put it in there. But for now, I'm like, I'm looking at it right, and then the server's like, "Oh, okay, so you want uh, the feta on the on the scramble?" She goes, "No, I want it." In. I go, "It's it. It's over." I go, "You're getting soup." <laughs> so she le- she leaves. I go, "It's not going to come out the way you want it. It's going to." I go, "Cause she wasn't even listening to you." These fucking people, I got to tell you, if you got a job out there, <laughs> yeah, it's happening more and more. The, mm-hmm. the First, the decline of the United States is happening rapidly. With that, it, it is. Yeah, with that is coming the decline of the labor force, okay? There is such a uh, small pool of people to even hire that the people that they're hiring shouldn't be the position they're at. So, for example, this woman right. should probably be in another position at the restaurant, possibly a, a bus boy or a dishwasher, but they got nobody, so they got to hire this girl as the server. All right? All right. All right. Okay. Don't even listen to my wife. I said it ain't coming out the way you want it. And sure enough, comes out with uh, feta on top. 
And she goes, now a different guy brought it out. She goes, can you have them scramble the feta inside? So this guy went in the back. I, I'm not kidding, bro. 30 seconds later comes out. The feta's in the thing. And I was like, geez, what, how, how fast did you do it? Goes, no, you know, just put it back on the pan and then put it back out. So it comes back out. And uh, I said, you got to, you got to, you got to like, Take, start taking my advice when it comes to these things. Because I don't know what they did with the eggs. <laughs> like, I, like I, guy, I don't know what happened back there. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know if that's where you were going to go, but right, they go, we'll be right back. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> fed is right where you want it to be. <laughs> so you, you gotta think no. I, I You gotta... Even when I see those clips in the news where someone's doing something gross to your food, man, I just got a lot of faith. I got a lot of faith. But how did it look? Did it look to Lana like it was how it was supposed to be now? Well, I go, why do you want the feta in there? She goes, I don't like cold cheese on top of a hot egg. I want the hot cheese melted into the egg. So I tell her, just take the fork and bury the cheese <laughs> in the egg and the heat from the egg gonna melt it by the time you get to it anyway right it's, yeah yeah so that seems a lot easier than doing this whole thing with the dog uh, oh man lana is really nice though when she comes across immediately is very nice so i feel like if you if that was all you and you like and you put it on top i said i wanted you to mix it in yeah they would definitely yeah, you know, it's on the yeah, it's, it's on the floor. So, uh, and with the way I am, if I modify, which is rare, I modify, and it comes out wrong, and they put croutons on the salad, I'll pick the croutons off. Okay, keep the tra you know, train moving here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But you know, I, I gotta say, uh, you're talking about service and stuff, and way people carry themselves and stuff and i was watching in my hotel room the female wimbledon finals you know and i i feel like that's how society should be all the time everybody's dressed tight everybody's polite nobody's yelling over anybody you know I, can you imagine if the whole <laughs> world was like wimbledon well, I'm not even saying it right. I don't know. Wimbledon. You know. Wimbledon. And listen, there was tons of different nationalities there. I don't want anyone going, oh, a bunch of stiff white people. No, it was a, it was an eclectic crowd of people from all nationalities, all dressed nice, showing respect. Hey, water was $72 for a Poland <laughs> spring, but... Uh, <laughs> By the way, I'm sorry. Were you going somewhere? Because I was—I don't want to go off on a thing here, but I wanted to say something about the Wimbledon. Yeah, go, go Wimbledon. Ahead. Yeah, well, go ahead. I saw Tommy C there looking fantastic, right? And there was this great photo of him looking over at Princess Kate, Kate Middleton. <clears throat> and I get they're friends, by the way. And I got to say, guy, lately the Pope, I don't know if you've been hearing about this, but he's like toying with not wanting to be the Pope. Uh, when did when did that become a thing? But <laughs> when you could just quit being Pope. I mean, so I'm a little I'm a little not excited as I used to be about the Pope. And now I think your new goal, bro, should be. And if you could if you could get me and Jackie in on it somehow too, man. I mean, a uh, private plane to London someday, lunch with William and Kate, man. That is the new hot ticket. And when he becomes king, oh wow. You're gonna Can you imagine being friends with him, man? No. I would blow the Pope off to do brunch with Prince William and Princess Kate. I'll blow them all. It. I'll blow them all off to do lunch with Tom C. All right? I, I, listen. Tommy C, you're probably going to be eating lunch with him at a craft service table <laughs> with the three years, guy. <laughs> if this was back in the 1600s. Yeah. And the king was the king, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I, I want my king dressed as a king. I don't want him in a t shirt and flip flops at Wimbledon, you know what I'm saying? I, I want this guy. Yeah. With a headdress on and a cape, 
<laughs> I hear you. Hey, you're making a good point. I don't want to have brunch with him at a polo match. I want to be invited. Well, I'll never be. But if I was, I'd want to be invited to something that he shows up in a horse and carriage. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm right there with you, bro. One of those special occasions where he's wearing 50 pounds worth of shit. Yeah, he's yeah. got to take off the headdress and, 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 and give it to one of his, you know, right. whatever. Right. I, I don't, this king stuff, princess stuff, don't mean nothing unless they're dressed as the people they're saying they are. <laughs> You're making a good point. Let's say you're at a private island somewhere, right? Let's say somehow you're in circles where Bill Gates is getting remarried. Everyone's on his private island. You and Lana are coming down to the beach. Everyone gets there two, three days before the wedding starts. Princess Kate is coming back up the beach in flip-flops with a beach bag on her arm. You still do the bow? Well, here. Why, you're supposed to bow at a princess? Right? I mean, well, she'll be queen by then. Okay. Right? When she, well, I'm saying when she, if she was queen, would, would you would you hit her with the curtsy? Well, some some of these people that have the monarchs, isn't that what they call the monarchy? When it's a, yeah. yeah. Right, right. So, they, you know, like, you, you'll be at a party and then someone will go, oh, that's the uh, the princess of Monaco. Whatever, right? And then you, and yeah, then, yeah, yeah. And then you, and you, and you go where? In the North Face jacket? No. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta look like Princess Leia when you go. If you're a princess or a king, you gotta right. look that way every time you go out. So you stand out, like, oh, look, it is the king. Oh, don't get announced like that. Like if you're a. A cop and you're off duty and you're walking in in a, in, in a pair of flip-flops to a barbecue. I don't go, hey, here's Sergeant Davis. <laughs> <laughs> right? I go, here's Ted. Teddy, what's up? <laughs> I'll grab a beer. So, I, but again, again, I, uh, by the way, I know those who like uh, the Dukes of, of uh, you know, these like Romania and all that. I, I only acknowledge the England ones. Okay. Only the, the, that's like the heavy duties. And even with that, um, I think you do bow all the time, no matter what that was. Like, like if you met Prince William and his, he's now the king, right? Because yeah. once, you know, you know, Queen Elizabeth passes, he becomes king. Yeah. Uh, and he's at a party in L.A., um, a function. But he's, like you said, he's just in a button shirt. And someone says, do you want to meet Prince William? And you go, absolutely. Do you just go up? With a drink in one hand and shake hands, there's nothing. He doesn't get anything. If he's in a fucking crown, he does. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! So, oh man. So hear me out here, and I don't know how the hell this works. So the Queen of England, right? Yes. She's like hundred, hundred years old, right? I think she's ninety nine, but basically, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Her son. Is Prince Charles correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. When the Queen dies, why doesn't right. Prince Charles become the king? Why is it his son? Well, it is supposed to be him. See, I'm a little confused. Go ahead. Yeah, all right. Yeah. I'm a little confused because it is supposed to be him. But then I remember a thing in the news saying he had decided that when she dies. Because I guess now at his age, he's like, the heck with it. He wasn't going to take it. And then now I heard otherwise and that he will take it. So I don't know where we stand. I know this much. Yeah. The people of England that are like, let Prince William have it. Let's, let's get this thing back to being. Although, bro, his hair situation is rough. I mean. The, the hair? It is all. It, it's just. Not king like at all, you know. Well, it's like bowling league like. <laughs> so when I, when I hear king, I hear a guy in his sixties with a beard. I, I just I, that's like I that's, you know. <laughs> what is that from? Uh, from uh, the, the, the Scrooge movies? What were those called? The, the Scrooge. The the, the 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 king showed up. I think with the but like. I think Harry would make a better looking king if he grew out that red beard with the hair, but you know. Okay. Like, 
So is Harry not the king because he's the young? Harry li- he, is he, he lives in like fucking Jersey. I know. Is, it, nothing. is he the, is he a prince too? He was a, yeah, he was a prince, but he gave it all up for uh, Meghan Malacca. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But he can't be the king because he's the younger of the two. Correct. Correct. Uh, and then once Prince William and Princess Kate, by the way, she's the home run, man. She's the one who's just, you know, still, you know, young, but very elegant and beautiful. And like, she's, she's going to keep them, keep that whole thing popping. But, um, so, but, but she's going to be the queen. queen. I don't think so, because she's not blood. You know what I mean? She, she was born into it. So William will be the king, especially, gosh forbid, Prince Charles wasn't around. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold up, hold up, hold up. All right, all right, all right, all right. And again, you know, I, so I don't the, know if I'm right. The, the queen dies. Right. Who's the queen after the queen dies? There is no queen. The, the person who is in charge of the whole thing would become like, uh, like the queen, like, like, wait. What? Does she become the queen? Maybe queen. But if like if 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 Princess Kate becomes Queen Kate because William becomes King William, then if William passes away, Prince Kate is now the queen, like Queen Elizabeth, until the day she dies. She but she doesn't even have any of that blood in her, right? I don't know. I don't know. Oh yeah, we got to figure out what's going on with the queen and king. And the, I thought the king They're and queen, now. king and queen, were married. I thought. Well, no, because remember when Queen Elizabeth was married to her husband, he was always Prince Philip. He was never King Philip. He And he just died a couple of years ago. They both lived a long life. So there was something to be but, said for like, you know, high like, living. But if you're the queen. High end living. If, if, what? If you're the queen and you're, yeah. and you're married to a prince. Right. Don't you think the queen just... If they ever get in an argument, right? Don't you think the queen goes, "The fuck are you talking about? I'm the, I'm the queen." You're- yeah, have you watched The Crown? You gotta watch The Crown. That's what Queen Elizabeth does. I mean, you know, she anyone in a family, it's like it, 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 she is not mom. She's in charge of shit. You know? <laughs> it's cr- even even the presidents or the prime ministers through the years, they always come and meet with her. And all of them, man, they all like kowtow to her and like, you know, she's, she's, she's an amazing woman. She's really an amazing woman. And I think Kate Middleton has that in it, too. But now once they have kids, which they did, now Harry's even further down the line. So even if something happened to uh, Prince William, so he's out. Yeah, anyway. So that, but when, when the queen dies and Prince Charles says, I don't want any part of it, and Prince Williams becomes king and she's queen, Everybody's going to want to be hanging out with them. Okay. Everybody. So uh, Prince William becomes king. He's got a right. kid who's five. Prince William passes away prematurely. Is there a five-year-old king? There is, yeah. But like they call it something like when he's a certain age, he'll become king. Uh, we're probably boring everybody now. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, no, I off thought on, it my fault. Off, no, no, off on a tangent. Oh, see, another, another thing, another beautiful, beautiful way this podcast operates. We also, as we're talking, are thinking as a listener going boring, right? See? <laughs> <laughs> If, if, it's true. If, if half of the other podcasts did that, they wouldn't have a show. Right? <laughs> I agree. I'm sorry. I mean, but some people, yeah, no, I couldn't. I agree. I agree 100%. Um, you got something? Because what do you got? No, I'm tapped. What do you got? I got it. I want to bring on one other thing. I was a great, great time, Phoenix, getting back out there. And thanks for everyone who came out. Um, after one of the shows, <clears throat> Long story short, I had a couple of drinks with a professional hockey player. I know his girlfriend through uh, wrote for her. She acts. So anyway, um, but I don't know him per se. I met him once, but it's not like he's a cast listener or something like that. Real nice guy. We went and we had a couple of drinks. Now, I bring it up because no front teeth. Huh? No front teeth. 
All right. And when I first meet him, he's got a beard and stuff, and uh, I see no front teeth. You can imagine what, you know, you, you, you can't help but, like, start to stereotype, you know, like, well, you know, where did you find this guy, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> the minute you find out he's a pro hockey player, I'm like, oh, from bro, I thought you met you with a cardboard box to go. <laughs> this, this guy's in his late 20s, and he's already made more money than I'll ever sniff in my life. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> and I'm hanging out with him, and it's like I was telling Jackie, it took two beers to get used to and four beers to bring up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I go... I got to ask, you know, and he goes, and he's still playing, you know, so he's, they get knocked out so many times that, you know, it's a big, why bother? You're going to get knocked out again. And he goes, then in the off season, like now, wait, 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 wait. how do you reach that? Do you go, so do, do you, do you not, like, you just say, where's your teeth? Uh, how, how do you, how do you break in? I, I basically said what I just said to you. I sipped my fourth blue moon and went, so bro, like, do they just get knocked out so much that you're like, fuck it, I'll just deal with it when my career's over, you know? It's like, um, it's like, I, and I'm just saying this to you, like driving a <laughs> driving a car and every other day a rock smashing your windshield, so you're like, listen, until I get a new driveway, yeah, bless you, bless you. Yeah, thanks. But anyway, he was saying that um, in hockey, it's like a, a badge of honor. Like, you know how some of these MMA guys, their ears get really fucked up? Um, they, they could get that fixed sometimes, but they don't because it's like a badge of, you know, yeah. badness and toughness. So, <clears throat> but I guess if I'm, a, if you were a pro hockey player, uh, I think, well, I, I couldn't go off season without my teeth. Could you? Well, first of all, I think a pro hockey player, those guys are like, out of all the sports, men amongst, right? I mean, they're. They're guys. Oh, guys. Yeah. By the way, this guy was a fucking coolest guy and, and had a yeah. great time. And they're the coolest guys, too. Hockey oh, players. God. So, so, to answer your question, I don't leave the house with no teeth. <laughs> I, right? I feel the same way, but I mean, I don't know. Do you think that if you're a real hockey fan and you see a guy like this, good looking guy, clearly in shape, Dress nice, and then has no teeth. Do you think you go? Oh, this guy probably plays for the Capitals. <laughs> I, like, 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 do you know he's a hockey guy? Do you think they know he's a hockey guy, or do you think they're like hockey guys? Generally, have a look. They they have a, a beard. They're rugged. I would think that that guy plays plays hockey. But I mean, I mean, do you just that that's that's the mentality of a hockey player come out he don't give a shit if he got teeth or not i mean i'm just saying like how do you get you know you put a hot dog in there what do you have to do it to the right and the left you can't go you know front front first on anything a pizza what are you doing gnawing that from the side right, well uh, and there was a little uh, this sometimes you know and talking <laughs> and like i mean i don't know i mean i know you're going to get that Done at the end of your career, and you're still playing. But damn, that is a commitment. <laughs> but great dude, though. Great fucking. What did dude. you do? A stand up live uh, out there? Yeah, the one in downtown Phoenix is where I played this time. Oh yeah, I, that's a big room. How'd you like it? I liked it a lot. The whole outside area is a lot of construction going on. But I played the other room, maybe only like five months ago, four months ago. Um, in Tempe. Joel runs those rooms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the other one they got CB Live. But oh, yeah, okay. he he runs a room like great. His his, his gr crowds are great. Uh, club is great. The last thing I have to say though, bro, um, it hit 113. I, I couldn't go. I couldn't go out. It was crazy. It was like you can't even go out. Yeah. So what so, you do? Just just hotel room at the whole time? Yeah, looking out the window. Then like I'd, I'd see the CVS and I'd like you know book it to the CVS. By the time I came back, I'm like holy shit. I was in Phoenix area. Was on the short list of Sunday retiring to call Jack and said, check that oven off. <laughs> I said to the crowd one night, I was going to do a bit about lawn work, but I guess here I got to turn it to rock work. <laughs> All right, bro. Listen, I don't want to hold you. I had a great time hanging. 
Looking forward. And by the way, to the lady out there who gave Sebastian a hard time about what do I get for Patreon and my five dollars? You're getting Patrick, a producer. You're getting new equipment, new studios. You're getting it all, lady. We're reinvesting. We're reinvesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, bro. Take care. Later, man. Bye. Good night.